Welcome to Wednesday's live Q&A every Wednesday, 2 o'clock or right about there. Today it's 2.03 Central Standard Time. It's Duke's fault we're late, right? No, maybe not. Hey, we're excited to do this. We love coming to you. We love uh, people commenting. I'm watching YouTube live. You're watching Facebook live. Who, who we got jumping in over there? We got Matt from Springfield. On Matt, there. Ryan, I fear the 92%. Dude, you're in good hands, bro, because we help people not fear the 92%. Dude, you're an 8%er. I know you, bro. You're an 8%er, right? So we're here to we're here to answer your questions. We love answering questions. We have a lot of fun on today's show. I need to know though in comments below on YouTube and Facebook right now does my outfit match? <laughs> my wife doesn't think so. She didn't think so. She was all blue and green. There. It's money and the Cowboys, right? I mean those two things go together. It's almost like a North Carolina blue, though, so she would hate that. Uh-oh. Right? Isn't it, kind of? Yeah, a little bit. A little Tar Heel-ish blue that, for, for Dylan, for Corb <laughs> over there, right? What do you guys think? Does it match? Green and blue. We're going to answer your question. We appreciate your questions. I mean, we get a lot of, uh, we get like, you said like over 100 questions a week, right? Right. It's a lot. Yeah. How do we get it to 1,000, right? All right, we got some good questions today. You promised, yeah. Duker promised that this would be the best show, best Q&A show we've ever done today. Yeah, three weeks in a row I've said that. Dang, dude. Without even saying it. Dang, Duke. All right, bro. That's commitment, man. He's committed to helping y'all. Let's do it. So the first question we got was kind of a long one. I'm working for a state farm agent and will work full time for him until I can open my own agency. Okay. How much money should I save before I open it? If you believe in yourself, the answer is a big ol' nada. Nada. I mean, yeah, you got to buy into the agency, I'm assuming. I assume that's how State Farm works. Again, I'm not part of State Farm, never have been, but, you know. Uh, but we talked to a lot of agents that are with them. At the end of the day, though, some of the wealthiest people on planet Earth use debt to get wealthy. I'm not giving financial advice, but, you know, I'm saying... If I wanted to open up a State Farm agency with no funds and make it successful, I could. Mm-hmm. Am I going to? 100% not. But I could. So, I, I, that's the thing. Like, I, I don't – I'm going to ramble for a second because that's what I do. I don't do it a lot, but when I do it, I do it, bro. When I do it, I prefer dose. Just kidding. <laughs> so, that's a commercial joke. So, I was sitting with Matt earlier in my office, and we were talking about coaching and the importance of coaching, the importance of self-improvement, personal development, investing in you. Most people don't realize it, and you'll never will probably. I've spent $75,000 over the last year just on coaching and self-improvement for me. That's insane. That's more than the average American makes in a year. And I'm so sold on coaching and getting around people and masterminds and retreats and conferences and universities and training in general. I didn't, I didn't even include the 20 bucks. I just bought an audio book a few days ago, right? I didn't even include that. You want to invest in yourself and that's one way you can invest in yourself. Uh, But there's other ways like coaching, personal development, self-development. You're investing time right now and listening to me ramble on this Q and A, you know? So what we got next? How do you stay motivated during a sales rut? I had somebody ask me that earlier today too, actually. Uh, I bet it was a different person because the person that asked me that was in the office. Uh, Everyone goes through sales ruts. I've had, that's what's what's crazy about this business, Ryan uh, and Matt. People in in this business, it's really easy to not always have success on every call. I've had days where I, I, I was like, holy crap, I got you know eight appointments, I'm gonna have amazing success. And then I end up with a goose egg because a bunch of people stand me up, they're sick, they're dying, whatever, right? And so in this business, that's what's amazing about this business though, I can have an awful day one day and in the very next day I can put up six grand, right? And, I, and I've done it. Or I can have an, the worst appointment I've ever had where someone spits in my face, tackles me, lets their pit pit bull eat me alive and slams the door in my face, right? And curses me out and everything else. And then the next point when I can make three three grand, right? I just love it though. I'm like, dude, spit in my face, please. Because the next person is going to give me a bunch of freaking money. 
It's, that's his business. That's just a part of it. Mm-hmm. That's why people like Ryan won't be in ninety two percent though, because he's committed to going all in. And it's cliche, but you know, they always talk about you either winning or you're learning. You're never losing. Mm. Take whatever it is that's that really you know, look at those appointments where you don't yeah. have success and figure out what it is that you did wrong. Yep. Yep, I'm taking this off. I'm getting hot. My wife says it doesn't match. You guys didn't tell me if it matched or not, so it's gone. I guess it didn't match because you, you know, you were afraid to hurt my feelings. Describe the process. Of it takes a lot to hurt up. my feelings, right? It does. I think it's impossible. Like, try me. Describe the process of setting up a call center. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, call center. You need a system. You need leads, and you need people. Right. So what is your system? Are you are you using leads and outbound agents calling and selling them? Are you using leads and then an opener and then a closer? Like what's your system look like? Is it predefined? The deeper you can go and making sure everything makes sense and is ready, the better. I get this question a lot. A lot of questions about telesales. Tony G, I'll get there, bro. I like it, man. Uh, There's ways to set it up. I've ran it multiple different models, had some success. I like doing it. You know, I, I like the telesales part. Um, but you can have, you need a consistent lead flow. That's the lifeblood of a telesales or call center or whatever is consistent leads. Age leads, new leads, whatever. And our leads work really well because we get a lot of agents. I just got a comment from a guy, uh, gosh, uh, a couple minutes ago. And he's like, hey, dude, I, I loved your leads I bought. Like, I wrote seven grand or something out. It was nuts. He's like, I want to do it again. So, but that's the, that's the thing. Any, any type of sales organization leads and a defined, organized, successful system to where it all makes sense is, is, is really what that's all about. Uh, surround yourself with people that can take you off the ledge, bro. Talk you off the ledge. Tony G, I'm with you, bro. Dude, don't, don't you even think about jumping off, bro. Uh, Ryan, it doesn't really match, but still cool. Hey, dude, thank you, man. Dude, I, I love you, bro. Uh, positively said, hey, I have a question. Well, dude, let's, let's you know, let's let's ask it, right? That's what this is all about. That's what Q&A is about. Make sure you hey, ask it right now, and we'll, we'll, we'll answer it next after this next one, all right? What can I do to avoid making very little money in the first few months as a new agent? Ha, <laughs> Yeah. Gosh, I want to vomit right now because I, I talked about this yesterday. I just I just met a brand new agent in my city that wanted to go to coffee with me. I, again, I don't even know how he heard about us. I think somebody referred him. Um, seven weeks, he made $152. Was that 15,000 pennies, right? 15,200 pennies. That sounds way better. Yeah. Uh, that's the only reason I'm doing insurance agent prospecting 101 for two hours because agents, the number one reason, the reason that guy had made $152 or 15,000 pennies or whatever it is, right, is because, I think my math is right too, like big brain. The reason that happened is he struggled to get in front of people. Eight, the only reason agents fail, we can blame a lot of things. I, I always say they don't get in front of people. They struggle with prospecting. This agent didn't know what to do to get in front of someone. When you don't know what to do, you would end up doing what? Nothing. Nothing. The Duke is spitting game today, bro. And when that happens, that's, that's the exact reason why I'm doing insurance agent prospecting 101. I'm going to show you three avenues that if you apply them, you will make six figures over the next 12 months. I guarantee it. And it's $47. And it's next Thursday night, April 11th. If you're like, dude, what are you talking about? I'm doing a virtual live training for two hours with you next Thursday night. Go to CodyAskins.com to register. So also, okay. Um, Positively Udo says, I usually, this person's always on our YouTube. I love this. You're, my, you're one of my favorites, right? Tony G's a favorite. Ryan's a favorite. All oh, you guys are awesome. I usually do two appointments to close. What do you do when someone wanted you to follow up and then no show or say later? That's exactly why I don't do, that's exactly why I don't do callbacks. I don't do callbacks. Like if you guys heard my call to close, three hour training that's still online for sale. 
We talked about why I don't do callbacks. I'm going to talk about that in the next Thursday training a little bit too. I do not do callbacks. Someone says, hey, I want to think about it. I'm not sure. I'm not ready to make a decision. Call me back. I would love to agree. Unfortunately, we have a no callback policy. You have everything that you need to make an informed, educated decision right now. Why don't you just take it? That's the, that's the semi-aggressive approach. I've got an aggressive approach that most of you would never use that I shared on a show yesterday, uh, two days ago, right? Two days ago, Mo Monday's insurance agent training. If you didn't see that, you need to go back and watch it. Uh, I don't do callbacks, and that's exactly the reason why. Uh, Ryan says, I'm literally on my way to an appointment right now, sitting in 10 minutes. Get that activity. Dude, that's what it's all about, bro. Uh, only do one. Dude, Tony G, I'm with you. I only do... I do one call closes. A lot of people in the industry disagree with me, but if it was me versus them in a sales competition, guess who would win? The person that doesn't do two appointments. So, yeah. I love that. Do you have any tips for agents that have prospecting anxiety? I'm gonna solve that next Thursday night too. Prospecting <laughs> anxiety is, is real. Yeah. I mean, I don't wanna like, you know, I hate to give it a label, but it's real. Uh, Agents have anxiety about prospecting for one reason. They don't know what to do. When you know what to do, it becomes easier. When you don't know what to do, it's harder. So that's why I spend so much time teaching people what to do. Because when I have a full plate and I know what to do and I can just take action and do it, I have success. I stay busy and I make tons of money. When I don't know what to do and I'm thinking about it and I'm sitting by the water cooler and I'm saying stupid stuff and I'm drinking a lot of coffee and going to the bathroom a lot and you know talking to the reception, the secretary because she's hot, whatever, right? Because I'm lazy. Yeah. Instead, if we have a busy schedule and we know what, that's a clip, right? <laughs> if we know what to do, then you know, we won't sit around wearing a purple shirt, spilling coffee on it, going home and changing, looking for reasons to go to the movies at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, picking up our kids at 3 o'clock because that's what we do, right? Mm -hmm. We would find ways to succeed. People have prospecting anxiety because they aren't in the 8%. Tony G says, I'm with you, bro. Uh, what's up, Gilliam? And that's the big thing. If you, if, you do, if you knew what to do and how to do it, you would have no prospecting anxiety. The Facebook fans are uh, awful quiet today. Yeah, we have, we have one on Security that leads Facebook. Okay. Um, it's from Josh Richard. You might want to uh, say this because they can't hear me. But okay, here, you may go over there. No, just, just repeat it. It's a, a good rebuttal for Let Me Think About It from Josh Richard. Okay, so what we got, we got Josh over on Security Agent Leads, the live training video, and he's got a uh, good rebuttal for. Oh, I, a good rebuttal for let me think about it. Oh, dude, exists. I, I uh, okay. Literally, I say this, and I'm telling you, it's worked on $300 a month sales, $2 a month sales, not really, $300 a month sales, $500 a month sales, $700 a month sales, $1,000 a month sales. I wish I could, but I do not do callbacks. I have a personal policy that I don't do callbacks. I've had people say they were going to think about it. They, it was, they never really wanted to think about it. They just didn't want to do it, right? They didn't think about it. They passed away, and their family blamed, guess who, Betty? Me. And so you have everything that you need to make an informed decision. You need it. You want it. You can afford it. Why don't we just make, take care of this right now? That's probably what you would like to go ahead and do, correct? Yeah, Josh! <laughs> Yeah, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, it works, man. Trey, it works. I'm telling you, it's a, it, that rebuttal works. Uh, pe people tell me I want to think about it. Gosh, I don't do callbacks. I don't do callbacks. I don't do callbacks. Like, practice it. Role play it. Make it part of you. I've said that, that little rebuttal three times today mm -hmm. like, it was, like, like I know how to say it. Like I remember mm -hmm. saying it. Positively, Edo says, Cody, that hard close, do you do that even if your lead was a referral? So someone who did not indicate they wanted it, but they were just open because a good friend referred me to them. Um, because I can do that close if they have been looking for sure, but if they weren't even looking. Uh, 
I mean, they're looking or they wouldn't be talking to you because I would only use it if they actually have interest and I've actually given them a quote, right? So I, I don't even use it unless I'm like really deep into the conversation. That's the only time I would even I would even do it. So that's all right. I can't get this thing phone to work, but I'm going to see what you guys got. Oh, are you kidding me? These young kids and their technology? Are you kidding me? Dang, dude, that's why he's in charge of marketing, right? Amazing. Oh, really? Amazing. Okay. Yeah. You're the new marketing manager. Congrats. Good job. Bro, a promotion, no raise. Just kidding. <laughs> the title, though, bro. The title. <sighs> Ryan says, do you have a demographic you like to sell the most? High income, country area, et cetera. Um, I prefer... I prefer 15 to 75,000 of income in rural areas if I had to like choose a demographic that are ages 55 to 75 or even 60 to 80, you know, something like that. Those are like my favorite segments. I don't care what I sell them, but that's just like my favorite segments. So I'll, I'll sell some life in Medicare, you know, so that's a good question. Any other questions? We've been going, man, 24 minutes today. Duker's been getting after it. Why are, you talking, why are you talking so much? I have no idea. Any I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you Friday for sure for 8% Club. Have an awesome day.